Lovely to see you again. Christmas, my favorite time of the year. Today I'm going to show you how to make some beautifully fragrant, fragrant orange pomanders, like this one's here. So for this you're going to need a, an orange. I'll take this one. This is a, a little mandarin orange. You're going to need some ribbon, some cloves, and a darning needle is another good thing to have for this. So to gauge the length of your ribbon, if you were to wind it around your orange, then it doesn't matter which size it is, twice, and see that you have enough left over to make a, a nice bow at the end. Then you have the, nice, the right amount of ribbon. So find the center when you fold it across like that, and then wrap it around the orange. When you get to the bottom, do a quarter turn. This is just like wrapping a parcel for your presents. And then you're gonna put a knot in it. It's gonna be a little bit fiddly. So you put one knot, and then put a finger on it. And if you find that difficult, get somebody else to put their finger on it. Just don't trap their finger in it. There you are, that's it. And I'm gonna make a bow. You could use gold ribbon, green ribbon, whatever you happen to have at hand. So there's my little mini orange parcel. Now we're going to stud this with cloves. So to make things easier, I'm actually going to get my glasses because I have to look a bit closer. To stud this with cloves, I use a darning needle. And for starters, I'm going to make a little hole each side between the ribbon on top. One, two, three, four. This is just going to make it easier to push the cloves into it. You can push them straight in either, but sometimes you damage them when you do that. So in with the clove. Three and one more. You must have to move your bow slightly to one side to see it properly. And now you're going to do the very same at the, at the bottom. So you make a hole. One, two, three, four. Push your clove in. It just smells lovely. Now, and to really anchor the ribbon, I'm going to go around, get that again, each side of the ribbon in the center. Now, you can make any pattern you like after that. Just keep studying with your needle and pushing those in. I'm going to show you one I made this morning. This one, I used an orange, so it's slightly bigger and I made a pattern. I made a stripe pattern on that side. I made a heart shape on that side. You can do anything you like. If you're using an orange that's about that size, it's probably a good idea to make it just about a week before Christmas. It'll last a week or two. It won't last any longer than that, but it will keep your house smelling beautifully. An alternative way then is, and it's probably better to use an orange this side, is to fully stud it. Put push cloves all over it, just not too close to each other because this is going to dry out and I'll show you how to dry it out now. So you take a brown paper bag, like that one here, open it up. Now pretend that this is fully studded with cloves all over. Place it in the bag, and just hold the top over, put a bit of tape on it if you want, but that, that should stay really well. This, if you place it in a dry warm place, now, if you place them in a dry warm place, it'll take about four weeks to cure. I usually look every few days, I just open the bag and look and maybe turn it over and it will just dry very, very slowly. It probably won't work on the bigger orange, but it works really, really well on this. So this is one I've made already. So what happens, it shrinks. So the, cl the cloves that you put in already, they're actually coming closer together. But you will find also that your ribbon is going to be quite loose because the orange is now smaller. So, but that's easily tightened. So there you have it. Smells wonderful and this will last for years. You'll have it a long, long, long time. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy making this. Merry Christmas to you all. Bye bye.